Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video one of the Offset Relief Fence series where we talk about general code requirements. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. Now, before you watch this video, I hope you've watched the Vent Stack series and the Yoke Vent series that I put out because it all ties together. Now, much like a Vent Stack or the Yoke Vent, an Offset Relief Vent is designed to stop the buildup of pressure inside a soil waste stack when there's an offset in the soil waste stack. Now you can see right in the middle of this picture there is an offset in the soil waste stack and there is an offset relief vent in the orange piping coming off of that. Now let's talk about the code requirements on how to install this thing. Clause 2544. A soil waste stack that has a nominally horizontal offset more than 1.5 meters long and above which the upper vertical portion of the stack passes through more than two stories and receives a hydraulic load of more than 100 fixture units shall be vented by an offset relief vent connected to the vertical section immediately above the offset and by another offset relief vent. A. Connected to the lower vertical section at or above the highest soil or waste pipe connection or B. Extended as a vertical continuation of the lower section. Now there's a lot to unpack there, so let's break this down into sections. First of all, when do you need it? So first of all, your offset needs to be more than 1.5 meters. My offset is at 1.51 meters. Next, I need to be receiving discharge from more than two stories above the offset. Well, it looks like I got about six stories discharging into the offset, so there we go. And the next is I need to have more than 100 fixture units draining into that offset. And I have 101. I have to meet all three of those requirements before I need an offset relief vent. I have done it. So now I need an offset relief vent. The next piece we need to discuss is where we connect the offset relief vent to the upper portion of the offset. And it is described as connected to the vertical section immediately above the offset. And it looks like this right here. Let's use this other picture to illustrate this. I have my offset, the upper portion here, and you'll notice just above it, I have my green pipe coming off, which is my offset relief vent. And all I'm going to have there is a Y there and a couple 45s turning the offset to go nominally horizontal right after it. Now the next part of that clause talks about where we take a vent off for the lower portion of the offset. Now there's two different options for that and let's look at both. So part A talks about connected to the lower vertical section at or above the highest soil or waste pipe connection. Now if we look at this picture here, we see what this is trying to tell us. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but what I'm going to do is have my offset turned down and going vertical and I'm just going to put a Y right underneath that point, just like I have in the picture here. And the last part is extended as a vertical continuation of the lower section. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but if I had a Y and that offset relief vent comes straight out of the top of it, and then my offset comes off the side, that's exactly what they're talking about here. So I illustrated it this way. That's what it means. Now, just a clarification, you might be wondering why I've taken that offset relief vent and tied it together above the floor line. Well, if you look over to the right, you're going to see the drainage from this floor. I need to be above the flood level rim of that. So that's why I brought that up there. That is code. Now, much like circuit vents, additional circuit vents, and yoke vents, we're allowed to put fixtures into an offset relief vent. Same clause, 2545. The key points, if you have fixtures, they're maximum 1.5 fixture units each. Maximum two fixtures can be connected and where there are two they are connected by means of a double TY and The drain that drops down from them needs to be minimum two inch Well, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video Which is sizing requirements for offset relief fence until then you have a great day